here with Farmer Joe. Hi, I'm Farmer Joe. I'm a Louisiana sugarcane farmer. Today we'll be showing you how sugar gets from the field to your plate. People like sugar because it's sweet and gives you lots of energy. Sugar is grown in giant stalks of grass called sugar cane. Sugar is made in the leaves of the sugar cane plant by a natural process called photosynthesis. Sugar is stored as sweet juice in its stalks. The sugar cane stalks are harvested and converted into raw sugar. Now I'm going to show you how to turn sugar cane into sugar. First, the sugar cane is planted. Sugar is grown by replanting parts of the cane stalk. In the fall, growers cut the fully grown cane stalks into segments called billets or whole stalks. Some farmers plant the whole stalk, and others plant the billets with machines. The stalks and billets are dropped into furrows. Fertilizer is added, and they're covered with soil. After a few weeks, new shoots grow from the buds on the planted sugarcane and break through the surface of the soil. They'll grow until a winter freeze. But the root system stays alive, and when the spring comes, the plant begins to grow again. When the spring comes, it warms the soil, which is good, because sugarcane needs full sunlight, good soil, and lots of water to grow. Many stalks grow from each bud to form a stool of sugarcane. The crop that was planted in the fall and is in the ground during the winter is now growing really fast. In the summer, the sugarcane can grow an inch a day. In South Louisiana, it takes nine months for sugarcane plants to grow. When ripe, the sugarcane plant can grow 10 to 12 feet tall. Well, Marie, when the sugarcane is that tall, it's time to harvest. During the harvest, the cane harvester drives down each row and cuts the cane stalk off at the bottom of the plant. Then, the long stalk is cut into many shorter lengths called billets. A tractor pulls a cart alongside the harvester, collecting all the billets. Sugarcane is harvested from September through December. Sugarcane farmers will even cut sugarcane on holidays. It's super important to get the job done before the winter freeze. Once the sugarcane is harvested, Marie, we need to get it to the mill. Yes, Farmer Joe, as soon as possible. Because the longer we wait, the more sugarcane juice and the stocks will evaporate. The cane cart collects the billets until it is full and drives it across the field to the mill. Or it's unloaded into a truck, which takes it to the mill. When the cane arrives at the mill, it is weighed and processed at a cane receiving station. It is now ready to be made into raw sugar. The billets are tipped into a cane carrier, which transports them to the shredder. There, the shredder chops and shreds them into small pieces. Large rollers then crush it. This separates the juice from the fibrous material called bagus. This is used to fuel the mill's boiler furnaces. Now it is ready to be turned into raw sugar. It is cleaned and thickened into syrup. It is turned into tiny sugar crystals in a vacuum pan and boiled until the sugar crystals are formed and grown. These crystals need to be separated from the thick molasses around it by giant spin dryers called centrifuges. The crystals are then tumble dried to produce raw sugar and stored in large warehouses. The raw sugar still has a tiny bit of molasses stuck to it and needs to refine before we can eat it. This is done at the refinery. At the refinery, the sugar crystals are washed and dissolved in the hot water. They are filtered to remove any leftover colors or impurities. The pure sugar is boiled again in a vacuum pan and seeded with fine sugar crystals. When the crystals are large enough, they are tumble dried to remove the moisture. The refined sugar is now ready for delivery to the customers. So there you have it, how sugar is made. From the field to your plate. Sugar cane, sweet sugar cane. Sweetness of our southern dreams. There's a little shade beneath this tree. It shields me from relentless heat. An afternoon 
shower possibly But then the temperatures increase The men are working